Tonight, a community is reeling after a woman was killed at a daycare on the near west side and the suspect shot by police in downtown Indianapolis. Tonight, Rachel Cross looks into the latest details from investigators. Definitely this hits, it hits home real close and it's devastating, you know. Shock and sadness is rippling through a normally bustling busy daycare in Indianapolis. After a woman was shot and killed outside charity child care near the drop off area around 730 in the morning. It's hard and it hurts uh, to know something like this has occurred, you know, with a, a family. I'm concerned about that whole family. That's children, that's a mother, that's a father. Uh, 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 there's an attack upon our family. Our condolences go out to the victim's family the children and employees that have been impacted by this senseless act of violence that occurred this morning. This is something that they will live with for the rest of their lives. The victim has not yet been identified. Investigators say they believe this shooting was domestic related and that the suspect and the victim knew each other. Just three hours later, a 911 call from a bus stop near 10th and Delaware helped lead police to the suspect. Officers observed the suspect holding a rifle. Officers gave verbal commands for the suspect to drop the weapon. And at that time, officers discharged their service weapons. Police have identified the suspect as 33 year old Orlando Mitchell. He was taken to the hospital and is in stable condition after the officer involved shooting. IMPD says they found two guns with Mitchell. He's currently being held on two warrants related to prior domestic violence cases with a no bond hold. He's expected to face murder charges for Friday's shooting. A shooting police say many parents and children witnessed and now are struggling to fully comprehend. And we're lifting up prayer for the family suspect and for this community. Thanks to Rachel there. Tonight, our 13 Investigates team did some digging into Mitchell's past. Here's what we found. New charges and an arrest warrant were just filed yesterday for violating a no contact order and threatening the mother of his 11 month old son. Court records indicate that it happened on August 6 when Mitchell allegedly forced his way into the woman's home. The no contact order was part of a plea agreement back in July for a domestic battery conviction in March. He served one day in jail with a year of probation. And just two weeks ago, a probation violation and arrest warrant were issued, likely as the result of violating the no contact order. You can read our full 13 Investigates report right now on WTHR.com.